How worried should they be, do you think? And what's the right way to uh, sort of adjust to the new reality and ensure that you survive and thrive as a human in the programming world? Well, it's interesting that programming, and it's again counterintuitive to what we thought uh, years ago, maybe that some of the skills that we think of as harder skills are turned out maybe to be the easier ones for various reasons. But you know, coding and math because you can create a lot of synthetic data and verify if that data is correct. Mm -hmm. So because of that nature of that, it's easier to make things like synthetic data to train from. Um, it's also an area, of course, we're all interested in because as programmers, right, to help us and get faster at it and more productive. So I think the for the next era, like the next five, 10 years, I think what we're going to find is people who are kind of embrace these technologies become almost at one with them, um, whether that's in the creative industries or the technical industries, will become sort of superhumanly productive, I think. So the great programmers will be even better, but they'll be even 10x even what they are today. And because there you'll be able to use their skills to utilize the, the tools to the maximum uh, you know, exploit them to the maximum. And um, so I think that's what we're going to see in the next domain. Um, so that's going to cause quite a lot of change, right? And so that's coming. A lot of people benefit from that. So I think one example of that is if coding becomes easier, um, it becomes available to many more creatives to do more. Uh, and uh, But I think the top programmers will still have huge advantages in terms of specifying, going back to specifying what the architecture should be, the question should be, how to guide these um, uh, coding assistants in a way that's useful, you know, check whether the code they produce is good. So I think there's plenty of... Um, uh, headroom there for the foreseeable, you know, next few years. So I think there's there's several interesting things there. 